Greetings to you all, my people, and welcome to another episode of Damole News. All right, my people, so the Minister of Power, Adelabo, was massively disgraced as power went off while he was making a speech at National Assembly. While lying, Nigeria is a massive disgrace to the world, a whole National Assembly, and the Minister of Power is there. Then they take light. While lying, Nigeria is a disgrace. Anyways, I'm going to be giving you guys the full details of this news and also play you guys the video where Femi Falana exposed the corruption surrounding the increase in electricity tariff. Alright, so before I do so, help us by liking and sharing this video so that YouTube and Facebook can recommend it to more people. Thank you. So the National Assembly was thrown into a black card when power went off while the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabo, was making his speech. The minister, who was responding to questions from senators at the investigative hearing on the need to halt the increase in the price of electricity organized by the Senate Committee on Power on Monday, recalled that the Senate Committee on Power invited Adelabo and the heads of agencies under the ministry to an investigative hearing on the new electricity tariffs. So while he was making his speech, power went off and the National Assembly was thrown into blackout. So many Nigerians has hashtag this as a national disgrace and a massive failure under the administration of Tinubu. All right, so before we continue, I'm going to play you guys the video where Femi Falana exposed the corruption surrounding the increase in electricity tariff. The, the Minister of Power, Mr. Debayo Adelabo, has failed to address the question of illegality of the tariff. Section 116 of the Electricity Act 2023 provides that before an increase can be approved and announced, there has to be a public hearing conducted based on the request of the discourse to have increase in electricity tariff. That was not done. So up to now, neither the minister nor the National Electricity Regulatory Commission has explained why the impunity that characterizes the increase uh, can be allowed. And that is why I've already given, as requested by the law, I've already given a notice to the commission that because, you know, these guys are running Nigeria on the basis of impunity, and we cannot continue like this. When a country claims to operate under the rule of law, all actions of the government, all actions of individuals must comply with the provisions of relevant law. Secondly, the increase was anchored on the directive of the commission that Customers in band A will have uninterrupted electricity supply for at least 20 hours a day. That directive has been violated on a daily basis. So on what basis can you justify the increase? In electricity tariff. But you know, these guys, the Honorable Minister of Power is acting the script of the IMF and World Bank. Those two agencies insisted, and they continue to insist, that the government of Nigeria must remove all subsidies. First subsidy. Electricity subsidy, and what have you? All social services must be commercialized 
and prized beyond the reach of the majority of Nigerians. So this government, the government cannot afford to protect the interests of Nigerians while you are implementing the neoliberal policies of the Bretton Wood institution. And I have said publicly, neither the Minister of Power nor anybody in government has challenged this, that the West, Western countries, led by the United States of America, the bastion of capitalism, subsidize agriculture, subsidize energy, subsidize fuel, and the grant grants and loans to students, particularly the poor. So the same guys, I mean, uh, uh, just a couple of months ago, the IMF representative in the United Kingdom was challenging the British government for reducing the budget, you know, of health and education. The IMF comes here to say the government has no business in funding education, in funding health, in funding other social services. In fact, there was a time in the 80s that the World Bank said there were too many educated people in Africa. Today, we have 20.2 million out of school children. This does not bother the World Bank. You know, the World Bank is very happy that Nigeria is not prepared to fund even primary education right now shame right now so my people that is it for you all i saw this news and i decided to share it with you guys so please let me know your opinion in the comment section and please help us by liking and sharing this video so that youtube and facebook can recommend it to more people thank you so much for your time and god bless you amen <laughs>